Hello, little shells. Welcome to my first Yandir Tarot reading. This is a classic pile-based pick. There are three piles, rose quartz, opalite, and clear quartz. Please take your time to pick your pile, which stone really calls out to you. There is no need to rush, I promise. Hello, pile one. You have a very interesting reading today. Hello, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo, and Libra. Your first card was the eight of coins. You have been really wishy-washy about if you should even manifest a Yandir at all. The cards believe you should definitely commit to it and be determined to work hard to meet them. The second card you got was strength. You definitely need to be more patient with manifesting. I'm getting the sense that you don't really like to wait. Mostly Leo. You need to pursue this want. Manifestation also has to do with being patient and consistent. You also got the five of wands. You are clashing and have opposing thoughts about manifesting a Yandir. You need to really think about what is stopping you mentally. Are you scared? Are you second guessing the relationship? What's making you think twice about this? The last card you pulled was the King of Cups. Wow okay, this is a great final card. You need to remember why you wanted this. Stay devoted and loyal. Your Yandir wants you so badly. If you are being unloyal to them, then how can you expect them to stay loyal to you? Don't give up on your Yandir for another person unless you're 100% sure about them. Your oracle card is Leap. You need to jump first. Have faith that you will be okay. That's all for Pile 1. Have a nice day. Hello, Pile 2. Your zodiac signs are Gemini, Aries, and Taurus. Your first card is the world. It looks like you've been manifesting your Yandir for a long time. Congrats. You'll meet them soon. This doesn't mean stop manifesting or celebrate too early. You will have them soon. It's okay to be excited. Your second card is judgment. Your perspective has changed since you began manifesting your Yandir. Your skill has improved and you are reaping the rewards. Your third card is strength. You've been so patient and determined. It was hard. You thought about giving up, but you didn't. Now, you get to see the benefits. Your final card is the wheel of fortune reversed. Don't give up. You are so close to meeting them. Keep persisting. I promise you'll find them very soon. The cards say a week if you keep being very persistent with affirming. Your oracle card is soul family. Your Yandir is closer than you think. That's all. Pile 2. Say hi to your Yandir for me. Hello, Pile 3. Your zodiac signs are Virgo, Aries, Aquarius, and Scorpio. This one is brutally honest, so buckle up. Your first card is the full reversed. You are being very reckless because of your Yandir. You are putting yourself or others in danger, and it's only going to get worse. You need to rethink some things. You probably know what it is. Your second card is Four of Swords. You need to sit and think about how you are being dangerous. Be so for real about your demon Yandir. Please manifest safety or something with it. The cards are warning you. Your third card is Five of Cups. Stop being so self-pitiful. That's why you aren't seeing results. You have to actually put the work in and not just listen to subliminals once a week. Find a manifestation method that works for you and use it. All this self-pity is just making you upset. Your final card is Two of Cups reversed. You and your Yandir are not compatible right now. You need to grow and learn. Something about your Yandir has to change. And I think you know exactly what it is. If it doesn't change, you'll never be compatible. You need to balance the power. Your oracle card is. Answer the call. Do what your gut is telling you to do. That's all for pile 3. I'm sorry it was so brutal. Don't shoot the messenger. Do some thinking and adjust your yan or yourself. Thank you for watching this tarot reading. It was a blast to make. Enjoy your day friends.